ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாய்ராம் மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் ட்ரூ தட் திஸ் இன்சிடெண்ட் ஹேப்பன் வே பேக் இன் த நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டீஸ் பட் டெஃபினெட்லி இட் கேன் த்ரோ லைட் அண்ட் வார்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் த டார்க்னஸ் ஆர் த டவுட்ஸ் தட் கேன் அரைஸ் இன் அவர் மைண்ட் திஸ் இன்சிடெண்ட் இஸ் பர்டினெண்ட் ஃபார் த ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் தட் கேன் ஹேப்பன் ஈவன் டுடே so it was the head of the family who was diagnosed with the advanced stages of tuberculosis and the doctors had given him just 3 months time to live his life it was such a rude shock for the family because he was very young he had a daughter who was 1 and 1/2 years old and the second daughter was born just then the entire family went to royal cheruvu which was the mother's place and the maternal uncle took the head of the family to puttaparthi to seek the blessings of bhagwan now can the grace of god rewrite the destiny of this person when every door seems to be closed and when there is no hope left in this life yet there is one source that can make all the difference and for that we have to open our hearts close our eyes and unify all our senses and pray so first let us do that and see if the destiny of this person was rewritten by the unlimited and all encompassing love of bhagwan हे भगवान हे भगवान हे भगवान हे भगवान दया करो भगवान दया करो भगवान दीन नाता अनात जनन मरण भय शोक विदुरा जनन मरण भय शोक विदुरा निरधन के आधार निरधन के so my dear friends uh, the uncle and this head of the family they went to puttaparthi and swami gave him an interview and in the interview swami narrated what all had happened swami said yeah the doctors have given you 3 months time <laughs> let us see what uh, actually happens to you no first come here and he materialized vibhuti and he gave it to this person it was like yellowish tinged vibhuti and it was so much okay the person didn't know what he has to do with it when swami said go ahead and eat the entire thing so he ate the vibhuti and swami said do not worry i am there i will take care of you and he went on to tell something which even these people had no idea so it was those times when people would stay in prashanti nilayam and swami would tell them the time when they have to leave so they were happily staying in prashanti nilayam and swami had given them this interview but swami told you can start back home and when you go back home your wife will tell that the kids are very much serious there is something that's wrong with both the kids and you have to immediately take them to the doctor actually both your daughters are not keeping well they are having high fever but don't worry again swami materialized vibhuti and gave it to the head of the family and he said you don't have to go to the doctor just give this vibhuti so that both the daughters will be taken care so at one stretch swami took care of the head of the family and also about the problem which they had no idea he gave vibhuti for the two daughters and also narrated the entire incident that was about to happen so they set off again to royal cheruvu so when they went back home 
just as bhagwan had narrated as they were about to enter the house the mother came out rushing she was panicking she said both the daughters are so sick the temperature is beyond i think it must be 1 out 4 or whatever it is please don't even enter the house take them to the doctor immediately i was wondering like how uh, we are going to save them or how this uh, immediate medical help that is needed for them is going to be given to them both the father and the uncle they had a sweet smile because they knew that swami had already prepared them for this emergency situation they asked the mother not to panic and immediately as swami had guided uh, they gave the vibhuti uh, to the daughters and applied it on the stomach and lo and behold within 15 to 20 minutes the temperature that was plaguing them came down and both the daughters were hale and hearty so sometimes when we share these miracles we tend to get a doubt right did it really happen or are these just stories which are propping up anywhere and elsewhere my dear friends it is a great blessing that this head of the family is none other than my father and these two daughters about whom i spoke are my eldest sister and my second sister and with bhagwan's grace when we started the school in the year 1986 that is when my elder sister got the opportunity she was blessed by bhagwan and she was chosen to work in uti school and from there on when uti school uh, was stopped she was inducted into the shri satya sai primary school and by bhagwan's grace she is continuing to serve there and my second sister is here i think this happened in 1963 and my father lived up to 1996 Uh, 86 the school was started and for 10 years he was there with us all these days i have been sharing experiences of other devotees but today i thought why not share the experience that we have gone through the way swami reinforces faith in each and every one of us i think it is the immense love of bhagwan that he reinforces the faith that is there in our hearts through these numerous miracles and he makes sure that we are glued to his lotus feet So my dear friends who are watching this channel for the first time I just request you to make this faith deep rooted this will help us in this journey of life if you have not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and i hope you watch the video right from the beginning because there was a beautiful song that was also there and to all my fellow subscribers i extend my heartfelt love and thanks be fine have faith in the positive energy that is replete in this universe thank you jai sai ram